Mom here with Math Dad. We're back for challenge problem number 32. Two to the fifth power. Today we're doing a, the classic dots and boxes game. Oh, I love dots and boxes. You remember this one? I thought yes. you would. Okay, so what you see here is just a little good. You and I are going to play a sample game to demonstrate how it is played and also the mechanics of... And if you're watching, click down in the description. You can pull this up and you can play it yourself in Desmos. Definitely. All right, so I'm selecting the segment tool. All right, so players alternate, so we take turns, drawing lines either vertically or horizontally here, and we are trying to make boxes. So right here, I've completed a box. That would be one point for me. I'm even gonna color it blue just to remember that that was my point. Okay, oh, and then, because I scored, I get to go again. And that's and my that's box. Your... And then, those other two boxes are going to be yours. That's right, so I finish that box, and then I get to go again. So that would give me, overall, a win, three boxes to one box. Yep. Okay, so the two by two is not as exciting. Your board's going to be a little bit bigger. All right, for your challenge problem, here we're in the middle of a game. It's player two's turn, and the challenge for you is to identify or recognize which player is going to win if both of them play with their best strategy. And it's player's, player two's turn that's right it. now. That, that's right, it's player two's turn. And what you'll notice is that it's a very full grid already. There aren't a aren't really any safe, safe places to go where you're not going to enable the other person to get any boxes. All right. I'm going to give you two minutes to complete this challenge, and you can't just name the player. You're going to have to actually explain what, what the strategy is. No, okay. Right. All right. If you're watching at home, please pause the video now and give it a try. Science Mom, your time begins now. All right. So the first thing I notice is that we've got a smaller set of three here and then we've got a set of six boxes here so the the winner would want to get those because if like for example if player two goes here now then that would set off player one can get all six boxes so i think player two should go here so construct so if player two goes here then player one can go boom 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 get all those boxes and player one would then have to set off this which would let player two get six but that's pretty easy and simple and i think you wouldn't have asked me this challenge <laughs> question what? if the, if it were that easy so let me think about this if i'm player one and i go there and i get a box i know that if i just go here and here and get a box that then then i'm going to lose all of these is there any way i can thwart and if i go here then play ooh I'm going to go there. So it's got, like I'm almost forcing my turn to be skipped. Okay, so, so player one got one box, but then did not make a box on his next yes. turn. So now it's So now two. player two is faced with either going there. Do you get two turns if you get two boxes with one? No. No, just one. So player two could go there and they get those two boxes. Or player two could go here, anywhere here, creating a cascade that then would let player one get all the points. So player one has the winning strategy if player one uses this little trick of going once and then not getting a box when they could get two more boxes, then they'll get more points. That is correct. Player one does have the winning strategy regardless of how you had decided to play over here. So you suppose you had started right there. Mm -hmm. so player two had so it. That's player two, then player one could get their one box, but then the, the real secret was not to get another box immediately. Otherwise, player two is going to steal the victory. But now player two, at best, player two can put a line here and get two boxes, but player one's going to get all of the boxes over here as soon as player two draws a single line in that sector. Cool. Well done, Science Mom. That was fun. I believe we are now tied again, 16 to 16. Woohoo!